Hello, everybody. Welcome to Leeds Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Thanks for stopping in for another episode here. Uh, we are going to review the uh, 2006 Block 50 Shiraz. It's from the Central Ranges area of uh, Australia. Central Ranges are in a... Uh, how's a healthy pour? Uh, Central Ranges are in a part of Australia called New South Wales. And this part is um, in the uh, orange area or kind of orange, whatever. The orange area of New South Wales is about 125 miles west of Sydney to give you an, a little idea where it is on the map if you know anything about your Australian uh, geography. So, um, oh, got it for $7.98 at HEB Plus. And uh, let's go and check it out. Got some, uh, got some dark fruit in there. Really smell the alcohol. 13.5% alcohol. I think it's a lot bigger than that. Definitely lots of fruit in there. Uh, not sweet, sugary sweet fruit, but definitely lots of like a red fruits, dark red fruits. Get a little more of that. So yeah, you're getting that fruit again. Um, According to them, I should be tasting some uh, some spice and oak. I don't get the oak out of it. A little spiciness, but Shiraz is supposed to be kind of spicy out of Australia. Um, definitely fruity. Uh, I'm getting the dark fruits out of it. It's um, it, it's a solid it's a solid wine to me. It's 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 nothing spectacular. It's nothing earth shattering. It's eight dollars. I can probably get the same wine for seven or six bucks. Um, I don't think it's really anything better than, uh, we'll just use the, uh, what's become kind of the cheap wine standard of Australia, uh, Yellowtail. I don't think it's anything better than what Yellowtail puts out. Not much tannins either. It's not, it's not a, not much on that. Uh, I mentioned the alcohol. I could smell it. Um, I don't really get the. I don't really get that much heat. I don't get that much heat on it. But um, and the nose seems to have calmed down a little bit as far as the heat. And I swear I can smell a little bit of chocolate on there. Um, you know, it's overall it's a it's a decent wine. Um, it's eight bucks, seven ninety eight. It's not that, not a not an earth shattering. Um, wine, I would probably give it like, uh, if I give it an 85. So, um, so let's talk about the wine itself. Oh, by the way, I did get a new stem yesterday when I was cleaning the glass. Um, and I was shaking it dry. It busted. I don't know my own strength. Like right here on the stem. Ding! So I had to get some stems yesterday. Alright, so, um, cause, uh, that one was like my special glass I bought like a year and a half ago. And, uh, actually almost two years ago. So i uh, got two of these, and the stem's a little bit thicker, so hopefully it won't break. Anyway, um, so let's talk about this. This, 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 is what, this is what was vexing me all morning. It's really hard to find information about Block 50, uh, you know, varied information. I can find a couple websites that, that have talked about it. Um, there's a wine distributor somewhere in the United States that, that has sold this wine. Um, Pierce has only been two vintages ever of this wine, from what I can tell, 2005 and 06. Uh, so we got the 06 here. It is made by or produced by 
Cumulus Wines in Australia. If you go to their website, which they don't put on the bottle, but then again, this is, you know, three years old. You know, the internet's, you know, the internet hasn't been around very long, 15 some odd years, 20 years. Um, but uh, if you go to their website, they have no mention of this label whatsoever. So that was really kind of worrying me that it was going to be a really bad wine. It's not a really bad wine. I gave it an 85. It's okay. Um, but uh, it's from the Central Ranges, and like I said, it's, it's um, in New South Wales. So the Central Ranges in the Orange area of New South Wales are vineyards that are under 600 meters. There's another area called Orange. That's Their vineyards are 600 meters or higher. And this winery has uh, vineyards in both areas. Um, Fargo Hill is no longer made. Um, but they do have uh, two other labels called Rolling and Climbing. Rolling is in the same area as this, Central Ranges. Climbing is in the orange, the vineyards from, in orange. Um, and they have also mentioned that they uh, have worked with a gentleman named Philip Shaw, who's a pretty big wine maker in Australia. He's uh, worked with Penfolds and Rose Mountain Estates. Um, they distribute um, some of his wines, his his label, but Block 50 is not mentioned. This is something that I really don't like about uh, when I'm trying to do research on these wines. I mean, I'm not expecting some full-blown website from smaller wineries, but at least have a website that's, you know, basic, like mine. You know, Squarespace is what I use, and it's pretty decent, uh, and it's not meant to be a plug, but there is a little thing you can click on to check them out. Um, and uh, it takes, like, no time at all to create just a website and go, hey, here's our wines. You don't have to buy them from, from the winery, even though you can from this place. Um, give me something, you know? At least get the link to the website, and I can look at the label and get a little information about the wine. Now, the other wines, they did give at least some information, um, which was nice. Uh, it wasn't like yesterday's wine from Rufino, which had great information. You know, where the wines are picked, um, the varietal breakdown. Granted, this should be 100%. Um, how long it's matured in, in oak, if it's matured in oak at all. Uh, if it's stainless steel, all that kind of stuff. So that's a, that's my little mini rant about wineries and what they fail to do in their marketing. Um, as always, uh, friend me up on Twitter, Facebook, any of the other uh, social networking stuff. Um, just uh, It's really great to engage with some people. Uh, I had some great conversation this morning with uh, another winery talking about the problem that these guys have there. Um, would I buy it? Probably, well, I don't know. I, I'd, I'd buy other stuff than, than the Block 50. Really, just because I, I, it's it's okay. It's eighty five, and I think I might be getting a little generous because I didn't want to be really hard on it since I kind of already had a negative opinion of it before I started drinking it. Anyway, uh, that's it. We'll see everybody again next week because this is a Wednesday and we don't start again until Monday. Uh, have a great time. Or have a great time. Have a great weekend. See you guys later.